Brain Food, Random Stimulation for the Brain. When I was a kid, there was something really satisfying about letting off ring caps like these, especially if they annoyed others. The trouble is these days, I can't find any that I'd call loud. In fact, the hammer impact on this brick is louder than these. That's why for a fun project with my son, I decided to adapt Grant Thompson's Thundercaps build and turn them into possibly the world's largest roll caps. Now these things are loud, in fact they can deliver anywhere between 90 to 120 decibels depending on how strong you make them and there's something really satisfying about having them on a roll. We'll start the build with the backing paper. Any will do, but I'm going to use brown packaging paper so it's authentic and retro. Next we need some adhesive labels, preferably black so they show through later on, but if you can't get black you can always colour them in with a marker pen. Then just mark your backing paper slightly wider than your stickers and cut it down. Now mark the centre position of the first cap and then repeat it for the second. This will give you the spacings for all the others, so go ahead and mark them all in. If your paper's a bit curly like mine, you can tame that beast with the edge of a ruler. To add the explosive part, the easiest way is to use common ring caps. Using any sharp pointy thing, just pop off the paper caps on the front to expose the powder underneath. And if you value your hearing, no more than one to two of these are needed maximum. Next, I just place the sticker nice and central over the top of the powder, being extremely careful to work around the edges only and stay away from the powder in the middle. If you haven't got ring caps and you don't mind a little bit of extra effort, you can make an Armstrong's mixture instead, but again, you only need a very small amount for a big bang. In no time at all, you'll have a full roll of ring caps ready to fire, but if you're after the classic look like me, we just need to add the top layer. That's done with some thin tissue paper like this and we'll glue that into place with some white school glue or PVA. It'll make things a bit crispy if you go neat but by mixing it with water in a 50-50 ratio it works just fine. Finally we can coat the whole roll with a thin layer of the glue and when that's done painting the top surface with the rest of the glue should bond everything together and bring out the details from underneath. Hey presto, after leaving them somewhere cool to dry for a few hours, we have our fully complete classic roll caps. For an experiment, I decided to add some theatrical flash powder to one of my caps, just to see what it looked like. And as it turned out, it didn't make them any louder, but it does create a flash and an almost certain fire hazard. Well, I hope you enjoyed that simple project and I know we had some fun making it. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time with something completely different. Thanks for watching.